In the previous video, we learned how to animate geometries. Now, in this video, we're going to be importing models from Blender. And Blender is a 3D software, a very similar to 3D Studio Max or Maya. It is open source, it is free, and you can download it right now. So, you know, it's basically a 3D software and thus the scene. Uh, so, what we're going to be doing now is to add an object to this scene to create this object. So we're going to click on add mesh and we're going to be creating a monkey head. A very funny monkey head. And we can see the camera and it has a frustrum. So we can move that around. And we can see that the camera is pointing at the object. We can see here. Now in order to basically export the entire scene including the cameras and the lights and the object itself, we would need to add an exporter, right? And luckily for us, 3JS includes our support for many 3D softwares, such as a Blender itself, and Maya and 3D Studio Max. It's actually very convenient. So to configure uh, that, that thing, if we open the 3JS folder, within Utils, Exporters and Blender 265. We have scripts, add ons, IO Mesh 3JS. And we would need to copy this folder, right, as those files inside, inside the Blender plugin folder. So, depending on your operating systems, the path could be different. There's obviously Windows, RSX, and Linux. On NoSX, if you want to open that folder, you will need to go to the application, right click on it, and click on Show Package Content, which will give you access to the Contents folder. And so I have already copied mine, and then we need to go back into Blender, click on File, and there's an option called User Preferences. So click on that option, it opens a new window, and on that search box on the left, type 3JS. So there it is, import export 3.js format, it is currently disabled. So that checkbox there, you need to click on it, that enables the plugin. So if we want to export this scene, we need to go back to File, Export, and it should show 3.js which will open a new window which will allow us to export the entire scene including the cameras the lights the meshes we can have more than one mesh obviously and it says export 3h and such and it says experimental and make sure that all four checkboxes are checked but obviously you can select which ones you want to include I have already exported mine, so I'm going to be using it here. I'm going to be creating our scene loader. So I'm going to be calling it monkey loader. And that's new three, and we need to call the scene loader. And then we're going to be referencing monkey loader. And we're going to be calling the load method and specify the JS file that Blender exported. This callback of the load function will obviously pass result, and then we can use that result to access all the different methods of that object. So we're going to be replacing the camera with the current camera in Blender, and the scene with the current scene in the Blender file. And the result is that. Right, a beautiful monkey head. In the next video, we are going to be animating complex geometries. See you then.